Hello and welcome back to Direct Capital Channel. Welcome to today's episode. Welcome. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. What a weekend we had. Bitcoin really did go crazy. It wasn't something that we were surprised by though, right? Because we spoke about this in the previous video from last week. We were anticipating a rejection right over here because we wanted to watch for that confirmed close on the weekly time frame. We wanted to see that confirmed close above the diagonal and it felt a bit too good to be true after so many weeks of consistent upside into a resistance. It was too good to be true, but at the same time, that doesn't necessarily mean that we won't see further upside because of course, once again, it's all about the rejection or the weekly candle close above this diagonal. But of course, at the moment, we were right about this rejection right over here. And what we need to pay attention to right now is that this piece of price action resembles a lot of the price action that we saw right over here, right? We saw that first green candle into resistance, the rejection period right over here in the next candle, followed by another doji-like candle, but this time it was more of a green candle, which only meant that we saw a flick up from that initial rejection, so a rejection to the downside from this resistance, followed by a relief rally just to test this resistance once again, just to confirm it, that bearish continuation, that bearish confirmation rather, before bearish continuation in the fourth candle. So right over here, we have that first initial impulse into resistance, rejection, a volatile rejection, and then once again, the third candle, just like the third candle over here is painting a doji-like candle. So that relief rally into this resistance has already happened, and we're gonna talk about that in a bit more detail. But before we dive into today's video, a new live webinar date is announced for this Thursday, my post-halving investing strategy for Bitcoin. You can learn more about the levels I'm going to be watching watching for on rejection from the diagonal that we're talking about right over here. Should we get that bearish continuation? Of course, that's something I'm more leaning towards as long as Bitcoin continues to maintain itself above or at least below this weekly uh, diagonal. So feel free to join my live webinar later this week, my post having investing strategy for Bitcoin. Check out the link in the description down below. I'm going to be talking about the key levels that I'm going to be watching for, and I'm just going to be running you through my investing strategy, how I'm going to be dollar cost averaging into this retrace and what I'm going to be doing as we progress in the months after the halving. So stay tuned for that. Feel free to join and reserve your spot today by clicking in the link in the description down below. Without further ado, let's dive right into today's video about Bitcoin. We're just going to be talking about Bitcoin because that's where most of the interest is in at the moment, with the halving being today, only a few hours away, which is pretty amazing because we've been speaking about the halving for so many months now. I published my Bitcoin halving article back in September of 2019, and ever since I've been talking about and covering the Bitcoin halving, but now we're finally here. It's pretty amazing. I'm really excited about it, but of course, we have to talk about the fact that it is a buy the hype, sell the news type of event, at least in the minds of investors. Of course, we know that we shouldn't be treating the Bitcoin halving in that way, but we'll talk about that later on in the video. But for the time being, I want to say that earlier this month, I spoke about how Bitcoin hasn't had a good track record at this diagonal resistance. And of course, we know that after that weekly close below the diagonal resistance, we saw a rejection, right? We saw a rejection, which I showed earlier on. And this goes together with what I was talking about in the previous video last week. And I was just talking about the fact that I want to see a weekly confirmation because we tend to see on the daily, this is the daily time frame. on the daily, we tend to see FOMO wicks right here in red. We tend to see rejection, right over here, just below the resistance. But we also tend to see not only daily candle closes, which is a confirmation that I like to look for, but I also saw a pullback into the resistance to turn it as a support. And we also saw some sort of relief rally, but in any case, we saw a daily candle close, a pullback into support, and this was a failed retest attempt, which led price to lower levels, a lower high right over here. And essentially speaking, we just saw rejection towards the downside. So on May 
May 6 in that video from last week. And of course, if you'd like to check it out, feel free to do so. So those were some of the things I was watching for. It was definitely something to pay attention to. And this is just a brief summary of these things, the points I've mentioned just now. I mentioned it in a tweet. And of course, the YouTube video that I mentioned is the one from last week. It's my previous video. So that's something we have to bear in mind. We have to look at how Bitcoin just reacts to those resistances and we now know what happened afterwards. Of course, we saw a bit of overextension towards the upside. I'm not surprised in the least because of course, we tend to see overextension uh, past this resistance. And it would have been surprising not to see that overextension seeing as the halving is just around the corner. So we got that overextension in the form of a candle close, which is definitely out of the ordinary when we consider these wicks. But in any case, we see this sort of volatile upside action past this resistance and of course around the halving this comes as no surprise but in any case we just see right over here that this resistance is still quite strong it has rejected price for the most part and if we just think about what bitcoin could do next this is a tweet i posted a few hours before uh, recording this video essentially speaking i was talking about the rejection from the weekly candle close right and i was talking about the 8550 level this being a key reference point for price in terms of directional bias and we could see a relief rally as long as 8550 held as a support and we see that relief rally to the low 9000s of course a breakdown would lead to the high 7000s and those of you who have have been watching these videos you guys know that these levels come from my monthly range so we'll talk about that in tomorrow's video but but in any case this was the trading strategy that I tweeted about and I spoke about how I wanted this level just to hold because if it did hold then the low 9000s would definitely be on the cards and and this is exactly what happened from 8550 roughly speaking we got a 7% bounce roughly speaking right into that resistance and that was the trade that was the relief rally straight into that resistance just to reaffirm it as a resistance really just like we saw right over here right because this is a fractal that we need to pay attention to and i don't want to call it fractal in fact this is just a piece of price action that we really need to pay attention to because we're seeing a lot of similarities and in this third candle right over here we saw that relief into this resistance just to reaffirm it as a resistance and we're seeing the same thing here so that's essentially the trade that i mentioned on my twitter from 8550 to the low 9000s to just test this level as a resistance once again and we got that so that trade was a quick one it happened quite quickly within two hours really so 6.7 75% was definitely a good bounce to take advantage of. But in any case, guys, I want to talk to you about the Bitcoin halving not being a buy the hype, sell the news type of event, but people will treat it that way anyway, which is why in this tweet, why I mentioned 9,300, and of course, guys, you guys know that this is the range high resistance of my monthly range. This is a tweet I posted on April 30th. So this was before we even saw that extension past 9,300 all the way to 10,000. So in any case, definitely, we tend to see a lot of volatility and a retrace going into the halving. That tends to be a historical tendency. And I just know that a buy the hype, sell the news type of scenario was going to happen as long as we got that weekly close below the black diagonal resistance. And that's a bit of a shame because, of course, profit takers are going to capitalize on buying early, buying into the hype early and just selling the FOMO. That's perfectly fine. But a lot of investors feel like that's the halving hype. And as we know, this isn't the halving hype. I mean, it is in the short term, but that in no way compares to what we can still expect going forward as long as history repeats itself, because after all, Bitcoin tends to rally exponentially after the halving. So whatever retrace we're seeing now, and we're in the process of that retrace. Of course, I'm going to be talking about this retrace in a bit more detail, as well as the key levels that I'm going to be watching for in my webinar later this week. But whatever retrace we're going to be experiencing right now, it's really important to just understand that it's been historically proven to date that this sort of retrace around the halving is a bear trap. And by bear trap, I mean that people will no longer want to invest into Bitcoin. They're going to be scared to buy on the retrace. 
And this bear trap just shakes Bitcoin investors out of their positions around the halving and then they miss out on exponential movement towards the upside later on in the months that follows. So it's really important to just understand that this is most likely a bear trap. It is an opportunity just to take advantage of a really important event, a fundamental shift in the Bitcoin protocol. And it's one that we shouldn't squander. It happens every four years. We're right in the thick of it and we really need to strategically position ourselves in a way where we can make the most of such a truly spectacular event, something that really makes Bitcoin more scarce and by the same token will enhance its value. It is today so we should be prepared for it and the best thing to do, and I'm going to be talking about this in my webinar later this week, the best thing to do is just outline the levels that you're looking to buy. Set those buy orders at those levels and forget about them. Just forget about those buy orders and this is a strategy that I came up with earlier this month before we even got that rejection, before we even knew that a retrace was going to come. In any case, this is the sound strategy that you have to bear in mind. Dollar cost averaging into those levels that you're interested in so that you can get a good average price just to make the most of what comes next after the halving. Because of course, exponential gains are quite likely as long as history repeats itself. But I'd like to cycle back to the bear trap idea being shaken out of our existing Bitcoin investment. We don't talk about this quite often, but we need to understand that when Bitcoin retraces, nothing changes about its fundamentals. Well, I mean, with the exception of today, right? Because we're seeing that halving event really take place today. But apart from that, we don't see any fundamental shifts on a Bitcoin retrace. And oftentimes this red candle will change our idea for just a moment about Bitcoin, even though nothing really fundamentally is changing about Bitcoin. We just get emotional about it and we briefly get shaken out of our convictions towards Bitcoin just enough to deter us from buying more, which is why we have to set these buy orders ahead of time and forget about them. And that's just how I'm going to be approaching this retrace because after all, Bitcoin has enjoyed eight straight weeks of upside. The last time we saw eight straight weeks of upside was in April to June 2017. And of course, the ninth week that followed saw a 30% pullback. And of course, I tweeted this last week before the rejection happened. And of course, we saw a rejection happen, right? We saw that red candle after eight straight weeks of upside. And it's quite possible we'll see further bearish continuation from this point. But in any case, I'd like to leave you guys today with the fact that the Bitcoin supply is being cut in half today. We know that the dollar supply has already increased. Quantitative easing definitely is going on. But we have to bear in mind that today is the Bitcoin halving and the scarcity that will happen and the scarcity that will ensue from this halving will really affect Bitcoin supply because less Bitcoin will be entering into circulation than yesterday, for instance, or the day before that. So it's really important to understand that scarcity enhances value and abundance doesn't. The end. Thank you so much for watching today. Please consider dropping a like and of course subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I'm Rex Capital and I'll speak to you in the next video. Speak to you soon.